I'm Steven Raphael Marchioni, and I'm a luthier. I make stringed instruments, guitars, some violins. Some of the difficult ones, like when I make a violin or an arch top guitar, they can take as long as 300 hours. And the materials are very, very expensive for an instrument like that, thousands of dollars. Some of my um, more simplified electric designs might only take 100 hours, but it's still a lot of time, and a lot goes into every guitar, a lot of man hours and a lot of hands-on uh, shaping and fitting. The really old but precise woodworking techniques that you need to make a great instrument where everything has to fit perfectly. That's something I'm really passionate about. And what happens is you create an instrument where all the wood pieces are touching perfectly and all the vibration of the string energy goes through the instrument and makes it ring and makes it sound fantastic. It makes an instrument so much better. And the musician is the one who knows that, but so does the listener when they hear it. Oh, so good. I love guitar making. I make all of the instruments, classical guitar, electric guitar, steel string acoustics, arch top guitars. It's all it's all good. This idea of the perfect guitar is great. I do experience instruments that are perfect, but it's perfect to me. That guitar on the wall back there is perfect. Both of them. They're absolutely technically perfect, the way they sound, the way they play. Sure, there will be many musicians that feel the same way, but based on my standards, they're perfect. We'll, we'll see when it goes out in the world what happens. <laughs> Instrument making is a circular process, starting with design, construction. The musician gets the instrument, he performs on the instrument, and finally the audience gets to hear it. That is a complete artistic cycle. I would rather put my energy into choosing wood that by itself makes the guitar exciting. Maple, spruce, walnut, birch, sometimes cedar. That wood works very well. It, it's shiny when you scrape it and cut it. it. It glistens, it glows. It's got a wonderful radiance to it. The softwoods allow the tension of the strings to load the top without destroying it. So that strength across the grain, the long part of the grain, supports the string tension, the soundboard, and the structure of the instrument. When the string is plucked or bowed, the string energy makes the softwood vibrate when it's thin just right, like a drum surface. It's picking up sound, it's picking up the touch of the finger, it's picking up the excitement of the string by the bow, and it itself starts to ring. It sounds beautiful. And there's so much you can do to adjust that. It's a very malleable, workable material. Just by thicknessing, even by choice of the, the wood that you might want to use for a particular guitar or violin, you're looking for a certain kind of sound, and you can find it and adjust it to make it just right. It's a fabulous process. We start with cutting the wood up from scratch. I cut it down here in the shop. Then we go to the next step. 
which is actually carving, let's say, a neck, making a fingerboard, making parts for the body, and then we go to the assembly process. Assembly process is very, very important. That's where you have to have perfect glue joints. Everything has to be planed and fit perfectly. You're essentially, in building a guitar, you're spending a tremendous amount of time gluing small pieces of wood very precisely together to end up with a very resonant, responsive instrument that when the musician gets it, boom, it's electric. It sounds amazing. They get it right away. Once that instrument is assembled, there's a lot of finish work goes into the time that it takes to make the instrument beautiful. You spend time, you look at it, you refine shapes, you adjust angles, you scrape and adjust the sheen of the wood, and when everything's perfect, I seal with varnish, and then I either varnish or lacquer on top of that. The ultimate assembly of the instrument and the setup and adjustment, that's the time, that's the stuff that the musician really feels above and beyond the size of the instrument. So getting the action just right with a perfect neck and fretboard, the ideal string spacing, that makes the guitar alive. That makes the musician excited and really able to use it as a tool and as a beautiful instrument. As a kid growing up and living in Italy, there was just such a rich tradition of stringed instrument makers. Um, you'd see the guys working in their workshop just during the day, you walk through town, they have a storefront. It was a seed that was planted that that is a fascinating thing to do.